students this is a continuation of our previous lecture on the topic mean median and mode for a grouped frequency data already we have found the mean for the given problem next is we have to find the median in order to understand this video lecture you will have to watch the previous video lecture on the topic mean because i have drawn the table column for uh, in order to find the mean of the data and we have obtained the uh, value of the mean to be 48.61 in our previous lecture now uh, this being a continuation video we have to find the median so in this lecture we will be learning about median in order to find the median we should we should first find the cumulative frequency for the given data so what is this cumulative frequency the cumulative frequency for the given data is the first frequency is 3 so this 3 will come as it is for cumulative frequency the next frequency cumulative frequency will be we have to add this 3 with 7 so what is 3 plus 7 we have to add this frequency cumulative frequency with the frequency of the next class interval so which is 7 so 3 plus 7 which is 10 now we have to add this 10 with the next frequency so what is that 13 so 10 plus 13 that will become 23 next we have to add this 23 with the next frequency which is 17 so 23 plus 17 is equal to 40 next we have to add this 40 with the next frequency 12 so 40 plus 12 which is 52 next we have to add this 52 with the next frequency which is 10 So fifty-two plus ten, which will be sixty-two. Now add sixty-two with the next frequency eight, and sixty-two plus eight will be seventy. Then seventy plus the next frequency is eight, so seventy plus eight is seventy-eight. Next is seventy-eight plus six, so eighty-four, and then eighty-four plus six, which will give us ninety. So these are the cumulative frequency for the given. uh data that is the given frequencies now after finding the cumulative frequency we have to find the median class now what is this median class how to find that so i have already given in the formula which i'll show you here so the median class is the class that contains the cumulative frequency n by 2 is called the median class so what is this n by 2 n is summation f which is 90 so what will be n by 2 n by 2 will be equal to 90 divided by 2 so what is 90 divided by 2 it is 45 so for, that is i'll show you here 90 divided by 2 which is 45 now you have to see in the cumulative frequency where this 45 lies so if you see here here you have 40 the next value is 52 so this 45 lies in between 40 and 52 so you should choose the uh, value which is greater than the uh, value n by 2 so 40 is greater or 52 is greater obviously 52 is the value which is greater than 45 so the class corresponding to this 52 will become the median class so what is the uh, class corresponding to 52 if you check here this is the class that corresponds to 52 so this will be the median okay median class so how to find the median class we have to find see here uh, the uh, median class is found the class that contains the cumulative frequency n by 2 is called the median class so we took n by 2 which is 90 by 2 we got it as 45 you should check where it lies it lies between 40 and 52 and you should choose the value greater than 45 which is 52 and the class corresponding to it becomes the median class so this is the median class okay yes now in the formula we have in the formula for median first we have l what is this l 
L stands for lower limit of the median class. So what is the lower limit of the median class? If you see here, this is the median class and the lower, this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. And so the lower limit of the median class is 40.5. So the value of L is equal to 40.5. So let us just take and write here the value of L is equals to 40.5. Okay, because we will be using this in the formula. So the value of L is 40.5. L is what? The lower limit of the median class. So we have found the value of L. So what we require in the formula next? N by 2 is, N is 90. So 90 by 2 which is 45. So this value is 45. We all know that. Next we have M. What is this M, small m? It stands for cumulative frequency of the pre-median class. So we should take the cumulative frequency of the pre-median class. What is this pre-median class? This is the median class. The pre-median class is this. This is the post. This is the pre. Pre is it comes before. So this is the pre-median class. What is the cumulative frequency of this pre-median class? You should check here, which is 40. So the cumulative frequency of the pre-median class is 40, which is the value of M. So therefore, the value of M is equal to 40. So remember, in the formula, we have M, small m, which stands for Cumulative frequency of the pre-median class. Pre-median class is the class which is just before the median class. So this is the median class. So this is the pre-median class. And the cumulative frequency for the pre-median class is 40. And so the value of M is equal to 40. We have written that. Next in the formula, we have F in the denominator. Now what is this F? F is the frequency of the median class. So it is just the frequency of the median class. Now this is the median class. And what is the frequency of the median class? This 12. So this is the value of F that we will be using in the formula. Okay. So the value of F is equal to 12. So this is the frequency which frequency of the median class is F which is 12. Next in the formula we have C and very well we all know that C is the length of the class interval. So what is the length of the class interval? Already we have written C here. The length of the class interval is 10 and so the value of C is equal to 10. Now we have to substitute all these values in the formula and find the median. So let us do that now. So now I have taken and I have written all the values that we have obtained and the formula for median. Let us substitute them, uh, these values over here. First is L. L is what? 40.5 plus N by 2. N is 90, so 90 by 2 which is 45. So here you will be having 45 minus M. M is 40. So first you put a bracket here so that you, you, you will know that first you have to finish this and then only you can add this value. Before that this denominator that is this F is only for this term. Sometimes by mistake students tend to put this denominator together. They, they write it from here which is a mistake. So remember the denominator is only for this. So by F which is 12 multiplied by C which is 10. So you should do in the, in the same way in order to avoid any uh, error. Okay. So calculation error should be avoided by taking care of the, uh, of the operations of the terms. So that will be equal to 40.5. First what you do, you subtract these two values. What is uh, for 45 minus 40? It is 5. So plus 5 divided by 12 multiplied with 10. Then you multiply this 5 and 10. So what you will be getting 40.5 plus 5 multiplied by 10 is 50 divided by 12. Then using the calculator find what is 50 by 12. So if you see 50 divided by 12 
which is equal to this 50 divided by 12 is 41.66 I can write it to two decimals uh, I mean it's not 41 point it's 4 point 4.166 so I can make it as 4.17 so this will be equal to 40.5 plus 4.17 so let me add this 4.17 with 40.5 so that I get it to be plus 40.5 and I get the answer to be 44.6 so I can round it up and make it to two decimals so it will be 44.67 so the me value of the median is equal to 44.67 so this is the value of the median so we have completed the second part of the question in our previous video we found the mean of the given data and now we have found the median of the given data the left out part of the question is we have to find the mode and we have to verify the empirical relation for the given data these two will be followed in the next lecture so kindly follow the next video lecture in order to learn the mode and the empirical relation with that the problem will be finished hope you have understood how to find the median thank you